Welcome to part three of Printix's best practices series. During this session, we'll be talking about how we can add a print server to our existing tenant, discovering print queues from that print server, and then managing print queues that we have discovered from that server. In the last part of the best practices series, we took a look at what happens when you add another computer by installing Printix client onto it, and what happens with the printer queues, especially uh, within Printix. And we could see that the printer queues are added to the tenant and I can then consolidate, etc. So now let's take a look at what happens when I install Printix client onto a print server. So here's my print server. It's a 216 server and I've set up some test queues pointing at the same brother and Lexmark device that we've already discovered in previous parts of the series. In this case, we are using different drivers and presets. The print queues have been named placatively, so we'll see them pop up in Printix Cloud once we've installed Printix Client on this server. The installation is just like on any other computer, so please bear in mind we'll stop and start the print spooler during this process. I'll speed up the recording as this is the same as on any other computer. Okay, so we're done. We've installed Printix client onto the server. I'm going to move that out of the way. I will just take a peek back into the printers for this tenant called Printix24. And so far, nothing has changed. If we wanted to read the local printer queues that are installed on this server, we'll have to go to the computer's overview and open up that server. So it's been populated in the computer manager. And I can now say discover printers from within this element, this server element. When I do this, it will now look at the locally installed printer queues on that particular server. If we now go back to the printers, we'll see that the print queues will appear in Printix Cloud. There we go. Printix hasn't found any new printers, which is correct, but it has found the additional printer queues that were set up on the server. So from here, we can now distribute these printer queues to other computers that weren't running these print queues before, as they are now also Printix managed. Of course, we don't change any ports or printer queues on server operating systems, which means in the settings for the tenant, no matter what is ticked in the migration policy, we never convert print queues on server operating systems, which means we won't change the port monitor, so you won't be intruding into your existing setup. That is really important to understand. All we have really done is we've brought across those printer queues that were set up on the print server. It's the same for the brother down here. And you can see now I chose this naming convention. So this means in the printer queue, when we go to the drivers, we'll see that it has brought across the driver that was set up initially on the server together with the configuration profile. As usual, if you're unsure on how to configure Printix, pop out the question mark and it'll take you straight into the online manual based on the page you're on in the product currently. So if you wanted to learn about configuration profiles, you can go straight to how to work with print driver configurations. But click into this. You can see there's even a video on how to do this. I hope you found this helpful and I'd like to see you next time. Thank you.